The Board of Industrial Training and the Gaisuko Training Center held a graduation ceremony last Wednesday. More details from Narima Ali. A graduation ceremony was held last Wednesday at the Gaisuku Apprentice Hostel in Port Morant for the seventh batch of trainees that attended the National Training Project for Youth Empowerment. The manager of the Gaisuku Training School in Port Morant, Mr. Suk Paul, delivered his report of the program. In January 2018, GTCPM received 187 applications for this seventh program of which 141 were shortlisted, 133 interviewed, and 127 selected. This evening class program commenced on the 8th of January 2018 and concluding on the 12th of July 2018, inclusive of two weeks break period. Training at the center starts at 4.30 p.m. and finishes at 7 p.m. Monday to Thursday. A total contact time for each trainee being 240 hours. Mr. Harold Davis Jr., the CEO of Gaisuku Incorporated, also made these remarks. I've been in the field displayed and the knowledge gained will stand in good measure for this rapidly, rapidly changing environment in which we all live for industry and employment. I trust that we will all endeavor to use the knowledge and competencies you have obtained to make a difference in your communities and your lives. And by putting, by putting them into practice, and as many of you will go on to acquire more competencies in your year of training. The gathering was entertained by a few musical renditions performed by the lecturers. Representative from the Ministry of Social Protection, Mr. Francis Carroll, made these remarks on behalf of the Junior Minister, Mr. Keith Scott. Some of you will be entering the world of work for the first time, while others will be returning to the familiar areas of operations in their workplaces. To those of you who will be working for the first time, and even those of you with some experience, I would like to offer certain basic advice which are designed to contribute to your attitude towards work. Most of your training would have been intended to promote your technical competence, but I want to encourage you to endeavor to acquire the right attitude towards your work. Certificates were presented to each graduate. Trophies were also presented to the top performers in each course. The top performer in supervisory management, Arun Bagwandin, delivered the students' remarks. The program gave me the opportunity to better equip myself, both mentally and physically, with the knowledge and skills necessary to face the challenges in the future. We are finally here. It has taken us months to achieve our goal, but we persevere and today we can say we have reached them. Congratulations to all of us. The Board of Industrial Training and the Gaisuku Training Center have been providing beneficial skills to Barbies via its National Training Project for Youth Empowerment. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.